looks like my pear trees might actually have a pear on them or two. Yeah. Well, good morning and welcome to Prophecy Montana. My name is Kerry Martin. And, uh, you know, as always, if you would like to support me, you know, a thumbs up is awesome. And uh, if you like my content, uh, and if you would like to see more of my content, uh, you can subscribe, hit the bell, all that kind of stuff, get all the notifications. And uh, that's a fantastic way to support my channel and uh, gives me a tremendous boost. Um, and so anyways, you know, to get to the subject of this whole uh, George Floyd, Floyd matter, um, you know, in a nutshell, um, this police brutality that we're seeing is just indicative of the signs of the times. Uh, what do I think personally about the arresting officer? I think he needs to be charged with first degree murder. There are some sources that I'm getting um, that he possibly knew. Um, the arresting officer possibly and, and, and George Floyd possibly knew each other. Um, and I don't know if that's confirmed or not. Um, but, you know, and as far as these protests go, I mean, are there people out there being hired to... Um, you know, escalate things. I mean, we've seen some videos recently of, you know, the, the man dressed in black and uh, with the black umbrella, possibly a police officer smashing windows with a hammer, almost like he's paid to do it. And, you know, Antifa, obviously, um, you know, rumors of them being um, funded by George Soros and some of these other agencies. And so it makes you wonder, I mean, it, it gives, it gives police a reason to attack with force and to clear the streets when a bottle is thrown at them or something like that. And I ain't saying it's all Antifa. I ain't saying it's all the paid actors doing this. Um, and I ain't really saying much of anything, am I? Um, cause there's just so much that's unclear about this whole thing. Other than the fact that the peaceful, the peaceful protesters are out there protesting obviously um for a really good reason and i would actually support what their efforts are because throughout the world we've seen throughout the world we've seen this police corruption and police brutality and it's it's shameful to be quite honest um you know the city i'm from had quite a racket going the fbi was actually involved with a huge investigation with the entire police precinct and um what they were doing was they were, um, the, the charges that they finally filed, I mean, there was more charges that they would have liked to file, and there was other investigations that were actually pending at the time, but they settled on some pretty benign charges, in fact, um, where the police were uh, confiscating vehicles and impounding them illegally, uh, presumably for uh, selling to drug cartel and, you know, using them for drug trafficking and stuff like that. So they were in kind of deep. And uh, uh, the city I lived in was King City, by the way. You can actually Google it, and you can get some information still on Google a ball about that. But it's pretty sad. You know, we moved out um, of California into Montana because of that sort of stuff that was going on. And, uh, you know, yeah, we drove, we drove an old car, and it was kind of interesting because... Um, you know, we might have appeared to not be, like, high society. So we got pulled over quite a bit, and... Um, I think we got pulled over three three times in one day and you know no tickets no charges were ever filed against us we were never doing anything wrong and it was always for the same reason or well the, you know the handful of reasons that they use you know their excuses you know you're you don't, you don't have a, a license plate light or your left blinker is not working or you know something like that oh well can i check it no stay in the car sir and so you know and so if it irritates me, and I've got a lot of patience, it's going to irritate, I mean, it. this is irritating everybody, this this sort of behavior, this sort of, you know, uh, brute, brutish behavior by police officers, and it's disturbing, and so the people have revolted, and, you know, where there is no justice, vigilante is on, the, you know, vigilantism, is that a word, is on the rise, and, and rightfully so, um, but, you know, I'm going to steer this conversation now to a little bit different direction. And, uh, you know, as you know, uh, this is Prophecy Montana. And and so we're, we do talk about the Bible and, and we do talk about, you know, the events that pertain 
to um, the current events that pertain to Bible prophecy and these last day of events that I believe that we live in. Yeah, so we read here in Matthew 24, 12, um, and incidentally, Matthew 24 is what many have considered to be the mini apocalypse because it's where Jesus um, talks about last day events. And uh, he says here in verse 12, and because iniquity shall abound, iniquity is the word for lawlessness, okay? And um, uh, so uh, the love of many shall wax cold. Um, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. What's that endurance? Um, endure in the love of God. Endure in the uh, grace of Jesus Christ. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. So that's the real issue here um, that we're facing. Um, and if I... You know, back up a little bit to verse 10. We'll we'll read a little bit more of the context of what Jesus was saying here. Um, yeah, actually, let's make it verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and shall, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many become offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise, and shall deceive many. And then it goes into verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of me shall wax cold. Um, so lawlessness basically is the foundation for, um, you know, no love. So um, October 13th is the day that, is a date that we are all looking, you know, that we should all be looking at. And um, the papacy is going to be addressing the nations about climate change. And in that climate change bill, there's going to be some Sunday law stuff that uh, they hope to enact. And so we're going to be looking at that. We're going to keep an eye on it. Um, and that was switched from May, by the way. Uh, May, what was it, 14th or something. Now we're looking into October, somewhere between the 10th and the 18th, I'm told. Um, so uh, whether or not they move that date forward again, um, I don't know. I just know that in the last couple of years, um, especially this is their agenda that they've been trying to push forward. And um, so, you know, this is, this is the, your prophecy update. And... You know, stay strong out there. And, um, you know, there's just so many, so many deceptions. There's so many good causes that one can get behind and it be a total distraction to what you should really be doing. And, you know, I know because it's easy for me to get caught up in this stuff um, as it is everybody else. And, and you, you know, you just have to turn the TV on and instantly you're, you're talking to the TV because you're upset and, um, you know, you feel like there's injustices all over the place and who's doing anything about it. Well, let me tell you, everything's being recorded in the books in heaven, in the books of heaven and every single action will be accounted for. That's a promise that God has given us. You know, what does he say? Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. He says, I will repay. He says, Behold, I will make all things new, for the former things shall pass away. And that should be encouraging to anybody. And so, you know, he's he's gonna he's gonna rebuild. Um, you know, and it's interesting to note, you know, before we start uh pointing the finger at others, we need to realize that, you know, according to the Bible and God's law, you know, all men have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So that puts us all in pretty much the same category. How do we get out of this death sentence that we're in? Um, well, we repent of our sins and, and we give our life over to Jesus Christ. That's the only way we're going to do it. And, um, and we then become an agent to reach out and help others who have not um, repented of their sins, if you will. And this is not an easy job. So basically what I'm trying to sum up here is that God is a God of renewal and restoration he will restore mankind to his original purpose and his original form and um and that's what we should all be seeking and um so anyways uh this is prophecy montana <clears throat> and uh thank you for watching and this is your prophecy update